Well, the sober and sober curious movement, it's seen a huge boom. You probably noticed, but it's gone far beyond dry January or an expanded mocktail list at your favorite restaurant or bar. Gabba Labs, which is a London-based company, says it is perfecting a synthetic alcohol called Alcarel. It gives you the buzzy feeling without the booze, the hangover, or any adverse side effects. News Nation medical contributor Dr. Dave Montgomery is here with us now. We know mocktails and non-alcoholic beers, they can really taste like the real thing. They've, they've really come up. But now you might start to see drinks that actually give you that chill, that relaxed feeling, taking the edge off without booze. How does it work? Yeah, good morning to you, Adrian. Don't you love science? I mean, this is great, right? <laughs> Um, here's Maybe. the bottom line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Here, here's the bottom line. So, you know, the the uh, the positive effects of alcohol when we drink alcohol come from alcohol's direct effect on a receptor called the GABA receptor in our brain. That gives us that relaxed feeling, kind of a bit of euphoria. The unwanted effects uh, are attributed to a breakdown product of, of alcohol called acetaldehyde, and that gives you the hangover and the headache and the nausea and things like that. What the doctors are, or the scientists are trying to do here in Alcarel is to get all upside by stimulating the GABA receptor with Alcarel, but not having the, you know, the unwanted side effects of the breakdown products. And, uh, you know, time will tell, but it seems like something that a lot of people will be interested in. But a lot of people are not giving up alcohol because of a, wanting to avoid a hangover. They're giving it up because perhaps they want to be healthier. They want to make better life choices. They want to be more responsible. They have a family member who is an alcoholic, and they don't want to repeat a generational curse. And then over the past few years with the pandemic, it feels like people really eased off the alcohol in those non-alcoholic bars started to become popular in places like New York City. My question to you is, will this kind of thing be healthy, messing with the hormonal balance of people with a drink? Yeah, well, that's the catch, right? I mean, this seems to be working pretty well in test tubes and Petri dishes. The question is, what is going to happen when, you know, it gets into the human physiology? We really don't know yet. Um, and while it may sort of decrease the hangover effect, there's still something to say about overconsuming even, you know, sort of this Alcarel, right? Are you going to have too much of the euphoria, right? You still will have some of those central nervous system effects if it works like alcohol without the, without the side effects. So time will tell. Is it considered a stimulant then still? Or would it be considered something like a, a VR experience? You know what I'm saying? Like a virtual reality buzz. Yeah, wow. No, so, you know, I, I see what you're saying there. So, so technically, right, for the purist, alcohol is a depressor of the central nervous system. So it kind of gives you that relaxed feeling, kind of disinhibits um, the GABA system for the, the neurologist uh, in, in the audience. The GABA system is a depressive sort of settling system. So in the, in the sense that, uh, you know, it, it is... Um, uh, and that the chemical is not sort of a, a stimulant. It is, in fact, a sort of a depressant on the central nervous system. We do have to be careful of over-consuming Alcarel, right, if it turns out to be good for humans. One more question for you. For those who are still drinking the mocktails but want that chill feeling, is there anything we can do or any health advice you can give to people who just need to take the edge off without actually consuming alcohol? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, there are a number of ways of, uh, you know, settling yourself without consuming alcohol. I sometimes tell my patients, forget about the nightcap because the nightcap can come home, uh, you know, come back to bite you early in the morning and wake you up. Um, and to try practices like mindfulness, uh, meditation, other sort of relaxing um, uh, strategies at home to do. Alcohol still um, is one of the number one problems in terms of health effects. Uh, it is probably the number one, um, uh, you know, sort of a compound that gets over abused and overused and can have cardiovascular effects, central nervous system effects. So even if Alcarel turns out to be uh, something that's an alternative, we want people to use other really, truly um, helpful strategies like mindfulness meditation. Or jumping in a spa, a jacuzzi. We saw a bear do that earlier in Burbank, <laughs> California. But that yeah, we all, we all need a good jacuzzi moment. Dr. Dave Montgomery, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.